गुड मॉर्निंग एस्पिरेंट सो आर क्वेश्चन वॉज पी एच सी एच ओ के सी एन वाटर इथेनॉल सिंपली द रिएक्शन इज बेन्जोइन कंडेंसेशन सो बेन्जोइन कंडेंसेशन रिएक्शन विल गिव द प्रोडक्ट सिंपल बेन्जोइन पी एच सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी एच ओ एच सी एच ओ एच एंड पी एच सो दिस इज सिंपली बेन्जोइन आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द मेकनिजम विथ योर सेल्फ स्टडी ओके सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट कंपाउंड ए नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज बेन्जोइन एंड विथ द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड दिस टाइप ऑफ रिअरेंजमेंट इज कॉल्ड बेन्जोइन कंडेंसेशन और बेन्जोइन रिअरेंजमेंट नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप इफ वी ट्रीट इट विथ एच एन ओ थ्री वी नो एच एन ओ थ्री नाइट्रिक एसिड इज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट एंड हेयर वन ग्रुप ओनली कैन ऑक्सीडाइज दैट इज एल्कोहल सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल वी नो विथ ऑक्सीडेशन इट गिव्स कीटोन सो पी एच सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ पी एच नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज बेन्जील बी एन जेड वाई एल बेन्जील सो दिस इज अवर कंपाउंड बी नाउ इफ वी एड Uh, if we add OH minus in the presence of water, this is again very very important name reaction or rearrangement. This is called benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement. If you can't memorize this, just read it or search in Google. Understand the mechanism. You will find that uh, when you will understand the mechanism, then apply that in this compound. You will get the product like this. C double O H O H P H P H P H means phenyl group. Okay, so this is actually benzylic acid. Now name of this compound is benzylic acid, and this benzylic acid compound is actually our C compound. Now another one, another thing is given that is when treating B with benzene N H two. in h2 what will happen now to do this uh, we have to write this benzyl in a different form let's see suppose i have this n h h n h2 n h h we know amine group undergoes condensation reaction with carbonyl compound right ph ph now what will happen simply remove one bucket of water and from here remove another bucket of water uh, just for a uh, sake of discussion so our product will be double bond n n double bond double bond ph ph so this will be our product b so this is a b c d now let's see another section now when compound a is treated with zinc amalgam concentrate acl zinc ag ag means amalgam concentrate acl the reaction name reaction is clemension reduction clemension reduction is a deoxygenation reaction deoxygenation means c double bond o will be converted to ch2 similar function is done by ulf kishner reaction and mozingo reaction if you don't know read it ulf kishner reaction and mozingo reaction so here what will happen this c double bond o will be converted to ch2 so finally our product is oh ph but this is not the answer our e product will be when here water will remove like this Water will remove, so our final product will be this trans product because trans is more stable than cis. Okay, if two product, if it was written that a plus b like something, so you should write cis plus trans. Okay, but trans will be major for a steric reason. So this will be our product E. Now what will happen? Nickel hydrogen. Nickel hydrogen is now very strong reducing agent. This is also reduction because. oxygen is getting removed so this is reduction reaction 
so it is also a reduction here also it is a very strong reducing agent so here this system will also get reduced so finally our product will be ph for sake of memorization you can understand that if a mild reduction is converting to this molecule then strong reduction will reduce this double bond also so this will be our product f right next product next compound next reagent is sn ag teen amalgam and concentrated acl now it is similar kind of clemension reduction but what will happen here is it will also act as deoxygenating agent that means oxygen will remove but here this oxygen will remove in this reagent this oxygen will remove if here the oxygen is removed then hydrogen will be attached to this carbon only so our product will be ph double bond o ph so this will be our final product efg right now our final question that will give you a very beautiful product so let's see now this is our final reaction now here this is also benzoin condensation because we have given a dicarbonyl and cyanide minus so this is benzoin condensation now this cn minus should attack on this system or this system if you understand goc very well you can predict that this pi electron will undergo resonance with this oxygen and cn minus we know cn minus generally attacks on carbonyl because carbonyl center is electrophilic and it is nucleophile so this center is electrophilic this center also electrophilic now where it will attack so because this uh, pi electron conjugation this electrophilicity of this center decreases so here delta positive is high here delta positive is low now cn minus will attack where delta positive is high so what will happen cn minus will attack and o minus so our final product will be uh, not the final product or um, product will be o minus cn uh, sorry hmm. cn h cn o minus h right now we know in uh, this reaction this hydrogen is getting abstracted similarly in this center so finally we will have cn cn oh oh negative negative and if you have understood the mechanism of benzoin condensation very well you will now know that this center will attack here and it, it will be going up this center will attack this will be going up after that what will happen this negative o minus will abstract proton from this oh so o will be negative and o negative will be coming back making c double bond o and cn will remove so finally the product will be not the product but yes the compound will be like this oh double bond o double bond o up to this point you can easily make right now the thing is here we know there is one hydrogen here is also there is one hydrogen and nearby there is c double bond o ketone so ketoenol tautomerization will occur so this center if ketoenol tautomerization is occurring and here also if ketoenol tautomerization is occurring then what will happen then this OH is there, this OH is there intact, but this double bond O, C double bond O will be like in all. Here also in all. Now we can write this compound as naphthalene ring OH, 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 OH. Right? So this will be our final product. Now what is the driving force of this reaction? Why not, not normal uh, benzoin product? Why the reaction is extending to up to this point? First reason is uh, aromaticity gain. Initially, there was only one benzene ring, aromaticity of only one ring. But here, now two rings, right? And second, when there is one ring versus, versus two rings, more resonance energy is there. We know resonance energy depends on number of rings. 
So first reason of the driving force is aromaticity. Second reason is resonance energy. So this two are driving force of the reaction, not giving just simple benzoin product, but an extension to it. I hope you have understood it. Thank you.